Cali Effect, it, Cali Effect says Yu-Gi-Oh! has a budget problem because structure decks lately have been bad since the Shad All one. Do I agree with that? Um, yeah, so I, I don't... I Before chat, I've kind of dis... Oh, I don't want to dismiss the whole, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! was more expensive back in my day. Like, I don't want to just bring that argument up. Um, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! does have a budget problem because at least... I'll say for like the last year, ever since ever since Rise of the Duelist, it kind of did. That that set really kind of screwed things up, chat, because it released so many good cards, and um, a few of them, like Talents and uh, and Droplet, were kind of damn near necessary. You know what I mean for like combo decks or playing against combo decks. And those cards were just secret rares. And they were incredible. Like, that that set actually felt like a GX set, Chad. It really did. Or it felt like... That that felt like kind of how the GX era was. Um, you know what I mean? Where you'd get... I mean, I guess it was different then because all the sets were like that. But... Um, and then you had things like Lightning... Uh, Lightning... Um, uh, oh, my God. I can't think of the name. I was going to say Lightning Vortex. Lightning Storm. Then you had cards like Lightning Storm... You know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, I, I can side deck this, but oh wait, it's also a secret rare out of a set and it hasn't been reprinted. So you, you have all of these, like, um, Cali is here? Where? Oh wait, Cali is here? Cali is it? Where? I don't see Cali effect. Cali effect? Oh, snap! Cali effect is actually here! Yo, can I get a bog? Cali effect is actually here. What's up, Cali? Dang, he, he's, <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, yeah, I I agree with Cali. Um, if you really think about it, Chad, has so many high price like staple cards. And then in addition to that, as he said, the, the structure decks of recent have been trash. Like you can, you can almost list them, right? And I'm not saying that like there's no good cards in the structure decks because everybody right now is geeked up on impermanence. Uh, from the, the cyber style structure deck. And that's great. I talked about that. But the actual structure deck is horrible. Like you can't play that. You can't play the uh, the cyber style structure deck. At like a, a legitimate event. And expect to beat like any meta decks. Unless the player is completely incompetent. The cyber style structure deck was trash. The charmer one was completely incoherent. I don't even know what charmer. Like what the win condition. Or what that deck is trying to do. Um, uh, what's another structure deck that was trash? Um, I mean, some of them were fan service chat, like the Egyptian God, like that's just fan service. Like we knew that those were, tra those were trash. Um, the Sacred Beast one was also trash. Uh, they all have tier zero combos. I mean, on shitty replay channels, I guess, <laughs> but in like real Yu-Gi-Oh, like actual real, you know, when your opponent plays like a real deck, they won't. Uh, do I agree that structures have always been hit or miss? You're asking. I mean, yeah, pretty much. If you're, you're if you're asking, are there are there generally like good medium structure decks? Ones that are like, oh, this is okay. Like, not really, because because like most things, chat realistically are either like Salaman Great, where it's like, oh, this is a fucking instant hit. I mean, Salaman Great came out, and at the first YCS, it was legal. It got second place. Or like ABC, which did the same exact thing. The first, the first YCS ABC was legal in, it got second place. Like most structured X chat are either like that, where they're complete hits, or you get, you know, cyber style, where it's like, ain't nobody gonna play this shit. Monarch, yeah, Monarch, same thing. Monarch's like instantly competitive deck. Um, dinosaur, I mean, I guess you could say dinosaurs were, it took time for that, like, I don't know, dinosaurs are weird. It had broken cards in there. It just didn't necessarily pop off. Um, say hi to Cali. I've never bought structure decks before when I was young. I used, I used to buy structure decks all the time. A lot of times, chat, you wouldn't buy the structure decks for the theme. You would just buy them for individual cards that had been reprinted. Like, we didn't really buy structure decks for um, the theme, for like the, to actually play the theme. But um, you would buy structure decks just because, because because back in the day, chat, during GX and 5Ds, the structure decks were, like, if y'all think structure decks are bad now, Jesus Christ, go just Google some of those structure decks from those eras, chat. chat. They were, like, almost unplayable. What's good, dog? Um, just showing my brother some love. Hey, everyone. Aw, oh, thank you, Callie. Thank you for uh, for showing up, man. 
that's that's awesome. I got lucky with Cyber Style. Won half my matches on Thursday, uh, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Raleigh guys, that most of the people have no idea what the cards do, which is it's fine. That's part of Yu Gi Oh, but you know, like I don't know, maybe maybe a middle one chat would be like Pendulum Domination. Yeah, I guess Pendulum Dominate the DDD structure that that's like a middle one, right? Like Pendulum Domination was like, well, I still think I still think if D if if that if that structure deck would have come out when it was supposed to come out, I think DDD would have been meta. But they they released it like a month before Zodiac, before Raging Tempest, and Zodiac was just gonna fucking body everything. So if Pendulum Domination came out when it was supposed to come out, then it would have been like DDD would have been meta in my opinion. So I can't even, I don't even know if that's like a middle one. This is it. This is the updated. Wait, this y'all seen? <laughs> chat, press one. Can I get a copium in the chat if everything is tier one? Dude, I, I guess every everything's tier one, chat. Really? Everything? Wait, why is he running Magician Souls, though? Okay, let's just see. It's Siren Dragon combo and deck profile. I usually do. It's the flood. No, no, no. Flunderlees is tier one. <laughs> tier one, no. Flunderlees is tier one. You guys just. I don't care. Flunderlees. Don't combine. No, not Flunderlees. Flowanderees. Flowanderees is tier one. Com Jack. Combo video I don't care and deck profile in the same video. So if I see that this video. All right, gets, okay, let's, let's say let's, I'm going to be let's really look at, let's look at this. I'll always do combo. this. I'll always combine combo and deck profile. But if it doesn't, well, from, yeah, uh, you're going to have to see that in the video so I can actually go more in depth um, and actually just provide full, full explanations great. on everything. Like, combos and deck like, 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 profile, like 4 minute combo videos and 15 minute deck profiles. And it will be better for people to learn. But if you want to have a more compact version, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button because it really motivates me so much to keep making videos like these. It's just one combo. Oh, it's just a tier one. Okay, I thought you said it's just one combo. I'm like, bro, the video's 18 minutes. Like, how can and it be one combo? Deck? What actually made it so all of a sudden the combos combo are tier ever. one level? They really are. I'm not saying that the deck itself is tier one level. That's a completely different thing. I think the deck is a very solid uh, rogue-ish strategy depending on the level of play that you are into. For example, in a YCS or in a NAS. That is such a... Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is such a cop-out chat. Okay, Yasin just said, I'm not saying it's a tier one deck. I'm saying it's roguish. But you put tier one... Combo though, I, I don't know. Hold on, I need to show these shitty Yugi tubers or show the show the shitty replay community chat how it's done. One tier one point five four card combo copium. Level that's a completely different thing. I think the deck is a very solid. Or I'm not saying that the deck itself is tier one level. That's mm -hmm. a completely different so thing. What are you saying? I think the deck is a very solid. A uh, rogue-ish strategy, depending on the level of play that you are into. For example, in a YC... Twitch chat. Is calling something rogue in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community just copium for saying that it's trash? Is is that is that just code for just saying that it's trash? Yes yes or no, chat? I, I feel like I feel like it's yes. If you call something rogue, just, just say it's trash. Like, we... we it, it's, it's trash. Like... I, I, I'm fine with calling something tier 2. Ultra Geist is tier 2. Ultra Geist is not trash, basically, ever. Ultra Geist has been tier 2, like, for, for years. It's just like, Ultra Geist is, like, playable. But, like, this ain't playable. Like, this is this is trash. You know what I mean? I don't care if it pops off against No Hand Trap, Going Second, Dragon Link. But I feel like when you just call, when you just call something rogue, like, that's just, that's just a nice way of calling it trash. It's like, she's not ugly. She's, uh, she's... She's uh nice. Yeah, it's like when you call a girl nice. Like if you really, if she was pretty, you'd lead, you'd lead with that. If you call a girl nice, then she's ugly. Like I mean, not to be so in a not to be great person. I mean, I'm just saying, if you're dating a girl and she's like a ten, you're gonna lead with, oh my gosh, she's so hot. But if you're like, yeah, she's really nice. She got a great personality. She she's ugly. In like a world, this deck is definitely not on <laughs> a rogue level. Altergeist and stuff like that are much better than this. Oh, However, in the he, regional, he just proved my point. He just said Altergeist. Exactly. He just he just proved my point. Cap has no heart. What? I have a big heart. Local level, this could definitely see a top, and technically, depending on the player, I wouldn't personally be shocked if he could maybe see a win, but that may be a bit harder, because right now, only two of the seven cards are really, really good, and the rest are kind of just mediocre. But yeah, let's get into the one and only combo that I'm showcasing right here, which is basically a two-card combo. It's Cyber Dark Core Magician Souls. Wait, it is only That's one all you have. You won't technically go that far. So if you have basically just any other Cyber Dark card, it can even be the worst, like Cyber Dark Edge. It's not good, man. Just with these cards and a bunch of useless cards, I mean, D-Shifter that I'm obviously not trying to use because I'm going first. I'm also going to show you that D-Shifter is a pretty good card because it's not only the sense target with Magician Souls, but also it's a hand that can potentially make our opponent skip turn. So I just felt like playing card like D-Shifter over Apprentice. I didn't know you could do that. 
You can use D Shifter as a magician. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually kind. Of, that's actually low key kind of. That's kind of cool. Still no 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 no. It's, it's still trash. But like I never thought about that because D Shifter is a card that's like completely useless after turn one, and you never. That's my biggest problem with it. It's the only hand trap in Yu-Gi-Oh that's like it's literally only good in the first turn because after that you'll have something in the graveyard. But I never thought about that. Like hey, you could just send it from. The, that's actually kind of cool. I did that on accident. Yeah yeah. Because you when you play Souls. You kind of have to find like these random spellcasters around. I never thought about D Shifter. That's kind of cool. All right. Illusion Magician makes so much, makes so much more sense. And also, if you draw the card, there's something that you can do with it. Don't worry. But anyways, now I'm gonna go with another simple. Answer to confuse the Cyber Dark World oh. is gigantic. <laughs> the activation it touches a Cyber Dark monster from your hand, and then you can immediately summon a Cyber Dark monster right after. Jet? And you're going to see why this is so good because you would be tempted to search the Cyber Dark kind of here, but why do that since we only have a Cyber Dark monster? No, the important thing here is sending the claw back to the graveyard. But even if we don't get the search with the claw, it's not too bad because when we normal summon the edge, it's still going to recycle back. But obviously, since we were able to successfully get the search off the claw, we should actually fetch it here for anyway. You're going to see why this is so good. You're going to be able to allow us to nasty place. Because at this point, we get your normal summon of Cyber Dark World. This is pretty reminiscent to True Draco Heritage and the cycles of the True Draco Phoenix. So yeah, you're going to normal summon equip. This is so safe, and also it's not once per turn. You can get multiple normal summons in one turn. You can just keep triggering your effects again, like over and over and over. And obviously, magician souls. And I swear to God, chat. If he summons Verte Anaconda and then and then summons Destroy Phoenix, I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking dislike this video and make like I'm gonna dislike this video and I'm gonna make like ten more accounts to dislike it. He better not just summon Verte Anaconda and then go into like Destroy Phoenix. I swear that's Dark, just all of what insanity, you Especially since Cyber Dark World is a continuous spell and not just like, a random normal spell card that just gives you that effect. That's, that's, so it's even more that's not even a meta combo. That's just, hey, I summon two monsters. Like, bro, press one if Verde Anaconda, Verde Anaconda literally ruined Yu-Gi-Oh, chat. That card fucking ruined Yu-Gi-Oh. Every that's a combo deck, bro. I can summon two monsters. Ah, ha, ha. Seriously, just fuck, get that card out the game. Holy shit. Because I, 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 I didn't even think about it. I'm like, I, why do I feel like this is somehow going to end up with Verde and Akonda? Dragon Monster Destruction Sword from totally the Dragon Monster, but who cares? <laughs> and obviously, you're going to be having access to this card really, really soon. The LP is going to send a card that, oh, well, you look at this. It only access to Dragon Monster Destruction Sword, but don't worry, we're not really going to end a combo right here. So we're going to equip the LP with it just in case we get it over or something. But yeah. at this point, our opponent would have just over the LP, and we're just going to summon that Dragon Monster Hold Destruction on. Sword. Hold on. with the MZ Dragon. Isn't this card banned? Or am I way too disconnected from Yu Gi Oh? Um, is, it, is this card not banned or what? <laughs> no, yes. Wait, LP isn't banned? I thought I thought LP was banned. Yeah, is this is it? Isn't this card banned? Uh, this came out right. Oh, okay. I'm like, hold on, bro. I know I'm not. I know I'm not that disconnected, Chad. I'm pretty sure LP is banned. All right, well then, Again, kiss myself. Myself. This whole combo doesn't even work. Here, so we can keep spelling because obviously it doesn't have to be to the zone where points do. It just has to be to the zone where two links nice must uh, commonly points to. That's all. And we're going to get back at the dragon. Obviously, we have five monsters here. We still have the dragon. We can either go for good. normal plays with like a seal and stuff like that. But I didn't really want to play a lot of weird cards like dragons with and stuff. So I'm only keeping it to the MZ dragon, 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 destruction sword for the quote unquote weird cards. Even though you can argue that the MZ dragon is a completely normal card, and you would play it in. In Cyber Dark, anyways, because it has pretty much the exact same effect as the Cyber Dark monster. This combo is so too strong. Anyways, we're gonna make the skull here. Draw four, and then we're back to me. And this is where even if you draw the mission tricks, not the end of the world. You can just put it back at the bottom of your deck. Make sure that all those bad cards, like the edge that doesn't do anything, they can just go back to the bottom. And that's it. We make sure that we keep the really good cards in our hand, and then we're going to equip the skull to the Dragon Monster Destruction Sword, set multiple cards, and look at a massive card advantage. This is huge. This is a lot. Okay, so. All the all the play guarantees you is is this right? It's just a Buster Lock. Nice Cyber Dark deck. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Because, like, you can say, oh, well, he has Bell, and he has um, Ice Dragon's Prison, and he has Punishment. But those are all RNG draws. He, like, you can't guarantee you're going to draw those cards. You know what I mean? Like, the only thing you're guaranteed, chat, is Saryuja plus this. This is actually a zero negate board, by the way. So, I mean, I, I don't know, chat. Is this a tier one combo? And also that, you know, forget the fact that it's also illegal. Guaranteed flop. <laughs> yeah, it's a, like, let's just, let's ignore the part. Let's just ignore the combo being illegal. But yeah, the only thing you're guaranteed, I mean, you can't super poly it, I guess. That's kind of cool. Um, stock tips of gold. Uh, give me some financial advice. He went plus five copium. All right, true. So there you guys go, chat. The only way to make Cyber Darks uh, tier one or to do a tier one combo is to uh, basically hope you draw good cards 